Can you remember learning to write at school? For many primary school children, learning to write poses many challenges and can be stressful, particularly for those who are poor at spelling. Writing allows us to tap into our intellectual curiosity, but when children learn to write, much of their concentration goes into figuring out how to spell, rather than on other processes that help make their writing interesting and of high quality. I began my PhD with the naive assumption that children can learn to write a creative story or a persuasive piece of text, even if their spelling is poor. However, in the first phase of my PhD, I empirically analysed Year 3 and Year 5 NAPLAN data from students in the Australian Capital Territory, and I found that spelling is indeed a significantly strong predictor of written composition more so than grammar and punctuation. Spelling is also important in adult life. Research shows that job applications with spelling mistakes in them are often not given any consideration at all. We know that spelling is important. However, teachers need to understand how children spell so that they can help their students become better spellers. So in my PhD, I developed and tested an assessment tool called the Components of Spelling Test. The evidence shows that this tool is a statistically valid and reliable measure of students' knowledge of the Australian English spelling system. I then used this tool to examine spelling knowledge of 1,200 students in years three to six. I found that the development of spelling is far more complex than we ever thought. We now know that spelling does not develop in distinct and sequential stages. In fact, my research shows that overall development in phonology, orthography and morphology occurs concurrently, albeit to varying degrees and depending on year level. It is also clear that there is considerable scope for learning across these three spelling components beyond the primary school years. My findings have important implications for the way spelling is taught, but there is still more work to be done. You see, in phase two of my research, I obtained samples of creative stories, and persuasive texts from low achieving spellers and high achieving spellers. I also interviewed these students and their teachers. Using these data, I will gain rich insights into the spelling strategies these students use. By finding out how children make connections between these three spelling components, my research provides greater clarity about the nature of spelling development in the upper primary school years. As a result, teachers and curriculum developers will know what skills and strategies need to be taught so that all children can become proficient spellers. Thank you.